go out there, go give us that better report. We say we're going to give the updates on things with the Shelley for the Todd Millan Bridge uh, partial repairs and partial closure. All right. So uh, on the show, you know, so we always get our special guests who we talk to. Today, on Friday, I promise you, I said we would talk to one better guy. He named El Prince and an uh, artist. And we say we could speak to him about uh, the music scene and how the things they go so far. So El Prince, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. I'm doing awesome, and I'm happy to be here. That's Quite great, good great stuff, great stuff. So, El Prince, uh, would I, I always get to ask my, my, my guest an honest question, and I always want them to give me this honest answer. We know that there is a pandemic and a lot of things are happening. Things have changed, unexpectations happened. How are you really feeling in this pandemic? How are you? Honestly, it will be very surprising. Hmm. This pandemic, uh, I've actually been productive because I've been locked up in my studio. This is my studio. Mm -hmm. I do all the wake up, uh, walk to the next. Yeah. Okay. So, as it is right, if they ask me to put an album, I think I'm ready. Okay. Yeah amount of time yeah and inside so so yeah. so you would say that uh, the pandemic has let you at least you you've been able to sit down and create with this time of uh, the lockdown right so much okay that's great stuff great stuff great stuff so now moving forward do you think uh we're ever going to go back to the former normal or this is how we move from now on what what, what do you think uh i think a bit of both. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of both. The, for the entertainment aspect, of, you really need to go from a way of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it becomes to put on the back, to be able to do that, and hey, what? So that one, I think, should be back. Okay. Maybe uh, this as well. Yeah, the conversation uh, online, yeah. things going online. Everybody is trying to be, do business fully online. Uh, exactly. Hmm. Interesting. But for an artist now, don't you think? How do you think? Uh, don't you think this can be a bit of a disadvantage in a way? Because uh, for shows, you know, you can't be having concerts with crowd anymore you can't be having those kind of events where you're always closer to your fans so don't you think that is also going to affect uh, the entertainment industry and most especially artists like i'm still standing on my ground and i'm saying it will get back that okay. but there is no hope. i mean before the french league system I'm sorry, it's fun. Yeah, peers beat the match in front of us. So why would not we mm. we'll get like 100? So I think we'll get back there. So okay. The same. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, we'll definitely get back to that point. If that's what, what, what we're all uh, clamoring for, hopefully we'll get there. So now let's talk about, let's talk about your music now. Let's talk about where, what you do. Can you tell us uh what style of music you do and uh, why you decided to choose that vibe but you know before we get in that we're going to be playing uh um your video let people get to feel what el prince is all about and see the kind of vibe you you bring out then we can come back and talk about it all right let's enjoy it all right that's not a vibe by el prince and he featured perizzi on that one so el prince how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Seeing that jam, that was a good vibe. That was a good vibe. So let's let's go back to the conversation before where we we you jump on the video. Uh, what would you call your style of music? Uh, I would say universal. Universal. Bro, I do. Well. If the beat is good, I'm on. Hmm. You know, but usually uh, a couple of people will say that at least they should know an artist for a certain style. Do you agree with that, uh, with that uh, conversation? That if you're an artist, is either you're a rapper, you're a singer, you do Afrobeat, you do pop, you know, you need to put yourself in a, in a place so you can be identified with and your fans can follow. Is that something you agree with? Okay. 
right now this is the hybrid. this is called the hybrid okay sure so no limit to add then mm. no limits if the beat is nice mm -hmm. if I, I i don't classify it how i'm this i'm that leave it do whatever it is with so i try that mm. like most of them way back in this yeah i'm more like a man most of my things i pushed out them or oh, i can classify my specific kind of genre okay music. So, so for you, if you hear a good beat, you jump on it and make good music. That's the idea. <laughs> okay, so uh, looking at it now, we, we know that uh, sometimes they say an artist gets to hear a beat before he writes his songs, or they write their songs before they get the beat. How does it work for you, or does it work both ways for you? It works both ways for me. It works, probably, if I'm working with someone who is not used to it, or, you know, freestyle and challenge. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and then, yeah, I write comes. I write too. So okay. I'm right. Well, I, I just get in the always in my studio. Go to a playlist of beat I have. Mm -hmm. Once I play, let's go. So. So, so do you produce all? Do you produce also as you sing, right? Do you you, you actually produce? Um, yes. Okay. But I don't. But not professionally. But, yes, I don't. Okay. Um, so I do my work. Okay. I take it to the, and just. He, you know. he does the finishing touches and everything on that. All right, so yeah. let's uh, talk about uh, the, the song we just played and the fact that you featured Peruzzi on that jam. Why did you pick Peruzzi as a feature on that song? Because it's the past. I couldn't, I, nobody killed my skin. It was just that guy. Hmm. Why did you choose him? Yeah. Which in, uh, why Peruzzi? Out of all the artists, the male artists, male uh, vocalists in Nigeria, why Peruzzi? And I see, actually, I don't know that guy. Okay, well, I don't know each other too. Exactly, I'm going to divide that do the same freestyle thing what I talk about. Okay. So, so when you know your guy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, because usually a lot of people they talk say when you want to feature artists uh, for some kind of times or kind of situations you have to pay the artist to run a feature, but. Listening that Perizzi and I your guy, I should say, not just on you know very very cordial relationship level now, and I used to uh, do that collaboration. Uh, this one, he said, I'll stop. You know, we talk about outside. Hey, now, hey, now, we need to talk about outside. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I get, I get. Yes, I know. Wahala. All right. So, looking at uh, the um, the fact that you had this very colorful video. And uh, why did you pick uh, this director to shoot for you? And is it that, you know, in those, this video as it is, did you come up with the story or you left it to the director to just do his thing, you know, to create? How did things come? How did it happen for you? Yeah, honestly, uh, again, I will take up uh, Perizzi. He was one guy. Mm -hmm. You know, like, hell, I won't lie, Mr. This, and I believe it's come true. And this was basically now to say that it's all done to widow. Hey, let me see what you got. Mm -hmm. Show me the body. I liked it. Okay. All right. And let's do this. Mm. And came out at the video like short. All right. And look, I mean, makes it's sense. Like, Makes sense, makes sense. So at least you were really satisfied with what you saw after all the sh shots and everything. Now, speaking about yeah. music videos, uh, in, in Nigeria, a lot of uh, fast-rising artists, they say shooting videos are totally expensive. They're extremely expensive, right? They say the kind of uh, quality of videos they get now. If you never get two million, to three million above to shoot video, you never shoot better video. My brother, you have crossed this line. You have crossed this bridge. How is it? Would you say it is fair 
or would you say it is actually expensive to shoot videos here in Nigeria? Yeah, right. Especially with the whole thing on ground. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to, to spend. Mm. But depends on your conscience, your budget. Yeah. Uh -huh. Understand if you will be able to tell yourself that what I have, take it to them. If you can't work with them, who they can work with. Yeah. Then you can because right here in Nigeria as an artist, you have a plan B in a feedback. Mm -hmm. It's to so, Yeah. So I'm saying for instance, you know, hmm. there is so, money, so, talent, uh -huh. song, song. Be because now on, on, on that level where you talk now, they said they, there's always have to be a plan B, being an artist. So which other hustle you they do aside being an artist? So are you a full-time artist? Yeah, I'm a full-time. Full-time artist? Oh, wow. That yeah. is Because they say to finance being an artist is not smart, you know. Or do you have somebody bankrolling you? Do you have a sponsor? So I'm making no, it I, happen. I just see me and different part of I save. Okay. And I buy like I have a video that guy his friend. Okay. So I buy from it and then I give it to him. I okay. say, hey, rent it out and give me back my money. All right. All right. Okay. So, so Okay, makes sense. So as as it be, so you, you still have people who you are working with who believe in the vision and can actually say, oh yeah, may we cut this one, may we not do this one like this, may we help it. So now, looking at your brand as 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 a whole, do you have like a team working with you, or all the creative aspect of of your, of your writing, your singing, it comes from your head? Do you do everything all by yourself? No, 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 no. There's this guy, we man. Mm -hmm. That is just to know. It's a, I don't think my manager, but it's a correct guy. Not correct guy. So, yeah. You know, it's family. You, whole crew, man. Those mm -hmm. people, they've been nice to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Coming through in love. So, Great. don't believe me this one. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes so artists like to talk, say, eh, I came up with the idea, I wrote the song, I edited it, I directed it, I scripted it, I produced it, because they don't want to share money. That one, they happen a lot of times. They don't want to share accolades, they don't want to share money. So they do everything by themselves. Now, for, 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 a, for a young uh, artist who go on to enter the industry and see, say, you don't did it, which is one of those advices where you usually where you go feel give them. Say, okay, well, may they look... And may they avoid the things may they not do, and the things where you think say may they do uh, to actually stay afloat in the industry. Uh, hard, hard work, hard not work. Depend, but yeah, it's, you gotta work hmm. because the safety now you push left down, mm -hmm. you know, so we can. You can't sit down and to come in and sign you and make that dream. Mm -hmm. You got to do something. Everyone help those who help themselves. So you need to have something in your hand to mm -hmm. just in case when you come. So you need to walk, you know, and find the people you list, people who feed you their fear. Mm -hmm. And it's all about. My so when you're off, you'll be, you'll be distracted. Okay. It, there's a lot. I feel it will start seminar. Yeah, it's a big star seminar. Okay. But, but from what you said, you said hard work and have something tangible in hand to make sure, say, ah, if that opportunity come, you go feel use them. Take achieve what you want to achieve. Now, the, the yeah. final thing I go ask you, uh, we are not say okay because this one I lot of sit na situation with young uh, upcoming artists. We, we just want join industry. They want they sign on that record label. They want blue. Is do you think it's advisable for a young artist who is just coming up to just start looking for record label that will make them blue, or they can be on their own for a bit of time to you know to find their sound and recreate themselves. To be, you know, to have a better people to approach them. What do you feel? Uh, don't like to ask me the question. 
double and fat mm. by yourself, which is good. So it, if the the word, I I need even because really when we skip the video, they don't just look. Um, look. It yeah. was a process. Yeah, they grew. So these days, some guys just quick, you know. It's impossible. There's a shortcut mm -hmm. happening. Yeah, so it's a pro, and it's beautiful. Your sound, when you, your sound, your rap. Mm -hmm. People will hear your jump. And this guy singing, and you don't like anybody. Mm -hmm. You know. So for me, they just they work on themselves. The best they can in their craft. Yeah. Yeah. They will see what will happen. All right. All right. Uh, thank you very much, El Prince, for this conversation. It makes sense. Eh? We'll get this one uh, today. We'll be talk about them. Um, and uh, we know, say, yes, with your, with your joints, we come out. So a lot of people go enjoy them. They go feel them. And they go make sure, say, they hook up with your new music coming soon. But this one, make we say, enjoy the video by El Prince, where you feature Peruzzi inside. And we'll go get the vibe. From there, we'll go straight to another musical conversation we're not going to like know about. Uh, the Voice Nigeria is coming soon. Check this out. <laughs> 